You should run a susu with your family and friends, but fine. If you're gonna run a susu with strangers, let's do it the most modern way available. By the end of this video, you're gonna know the best susu apps available in 2020. For the best personal finance content, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video every Friday. What's up and welcome to Smart Money. In today's video, I'm gonna review a few popular susu apps in 2020. Let's jump right into it. Before I begin, I'd like to talk about the channel for a bit. I've noticed an uptick in views coming from Google Classroom. I've been informed that the only way for my content to be viewed on Google Classroom is for educators to put it there as a teaching aid for their students. I'd like to say thank you. I'm truly flattered. I wish I was taught personal finance in school. If there are other educators considering linking my videos in Google Classroom, please feel free. With all the personal finance content available on YouTube, I consider it an honor and a privilege that you would choose mine. A few weeks ago, we talked about the SUSU. The word SUSU comes from the Yoruba word SUSU and is an informal rotating savings club where a set of people arrange to contribute money equally into a fund on a predetermined schedule. Some form of informal rotating savings club is practiced all over the world. SUSU is practiced mainly in African and Caribbean cultures and goes by many different names. If you need a refresher on what a SUSU savings plan is, be sure to check out my video going in depth on the subject. I'm of West Indian descent. I've seen the amazing things SUSUs can do. My mother used a SUSU to save enough money to make a down payment on my childhood home. More recently, my cousins have used SUSU money to do the same. A SUSU done well can be a powerful economic tool used to eliminate debt and generate wealth. I was talking to my cousin recently and he said something I'd like to pass on to you. He told me, SUSU is contingent on character. SUSUs work based on the reliability of the least reliable person in your group. You don't want to enter into a SUSU with people you don't know. That's how people get scammed. I understand there are bad actors using the terms like modern day susu, blessing loom, family gifting, and a dozen other terms to steal people's money. They're using services like Telegram and Susu Cash App to run off with your hard earned dollars. If you're going to use an app to participate in a susu, do not use Telegram or Cash App. I don't personally agree with running a susu with strangers. However, if you must, there are apps that have been developed to limit the risk involved at running a susu with people you don't know. But first, don't forget to click the like button because if you don't, YouTube won't show our videos to other people. And remember to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our personal finance videos every single week. Let's engage in a thought experiment. You have family and friends who you trust and you'd like to start a SUSU. However, due to a number of reasons, you decide to learn the SUSU using an app. What reasons? There might be anything from your family and friends are scattered geographically, to many of you are millennials and don't use cash, to the presence of a worldwide health crisis that makes visiting people difficult. What are your options? While SUSU apps are currently in their infancy, there are a small handful of credible options. Cube Robotics offers an app simply called SUSU. SUSU offers many features like the ability to make cashless payments in brick and mortar stores, saving an investment using its SUSU vault feature, the ability to exchange money with loved ones, and to digitally record transactions. Despite the app's name, I don't see any features built in the SUSU that allows users to build the informal rotating savings club. My guess is that the developers believe users will use the ability to send and receive money to organize a SUSU among themselves. In my opinion, the app tries to do too many things and compete with too many well-established apps. It allows you to send money and receive money, but you can already do that on a variety of more established apps like Cash App, PayPal, or Venmo. It allows users to save and invest money, but you can already do that with Acorns and Stash. It allows users to scan their phone to pay for items, but there are already much more established apps like Apple Pay and Google Pay that are widely accepted. Cube Robotics Susu app is available for Apple and Android. Prana Circle may be one of the most talked about Susu apps on the internet, with articles and videos making the first page of Google and YouTube respectively when the term Susu app is researched. Prana is pretty straightforward. The app's founders Richard Lin and Shagun Singh founded Prana Cap Incorporated in 2018 in my hometown of Brooklyn, New York. According to the 2010 U.S. Census, Brooklyn has a population of 560,000 Caribbean Americans. Prana Circle identified the challenges Caribbean Americans are having practicing SUSU currently and created an app to address our needs. Prana Circle offers a variety of benefits when compared to a traditional SUSU. Prana allows users to engage in a SUSU without using cash. Draw dates are given out on a first-come, first-served basis, eliminating the possibility of any bias. 
Perhaps its greatest feature is that Prana Circle connects directly to the user's bank account, allowing for automatic withdrawals based on the SISU's contribution schedule. This means that there is little involvement from the SISU organizer and there's no need for users to remember when their SISU contribution is due. Prana Circle can be organized between 5 and 30 people with a maximum payout of $5,000. The app is available for both Apple and Android. Though Asusu Savings might not be as widely known as Prana Circle, it's the only Asusu app I've seen discussed on Forbes.com. The Asusu app is created by Asusu Financial, a company founded by Abby Wamemo and Samir Goa. Much like Prana Circle, Asusu Savings allows users to invite their loved ones to join their Asusu and gives options for weekly, bi-weekly, and monthly contributions. The Asusu app also links users' bank accounts to the app to facilitate automatic payments on a specified contribution date. The Asusu app goes a bit further than Prana Circle in a number of significant ways. Asusu Financial is able to leverage a partnership with Evolve Bank & Trust to hold the collected contributions of users until they need to cash out. It's also able to pay a user's missed contributions should the user miss payment with the expectation that Asusu Financial will be reimbursed. Asusu Savings is also able to reduce the threat of untrustworthy individuals joining Asusu by running all new signups through the Know Your Customer KYC database. According to TrueLiU.com, Know Your Customer procedures are a critical function to assess the customer's risk and a legal requirement to comply with anti-money laundering laws. Effective KYC involves knowing a customer's identity, financial activities, and the risk they pose. Another significant feature of Asusu Savings is that it's able to build a user's credit score. Asusu Financial reports all payments made on its platform to TransUnion and Equifax through its partnership with Evolve Bank. This allows each SISU app contribution to be seen by consumer credit and reporting agencies as they're paying a loan obligation to the members of the SISU. The app is available for both Apple and Android. We are no longer limited by cash or proximity when it comes to participating in a SISU. People can enter a SISU with whomever they like, be they friends, family, or strangers if they so choose. There are apps available to make SISU experience easier for all parties involved. Like anything in life, some of these apps offer more features than others. If you intend to use one of these SISU apps, you should use the one that best suits your needs. Do you or your loved ones use SISU to save money? Which of these apps do you think you'll use? I look forward to reading your responses in the comment section. Well, that's my video reviewing popular SISU apps. I appreciate you watching. Let me know any questions, comments, or top suggestions you might have on personal finance in the comments below. Now that you know how to save a lot of money very quickly, you should have enough motivation to invest. Even if all you've got left over is $100 and a sense of wonder, I'd recommend using Robinhood. It's completely free, plus if you use my link in the description, you'll get a free stock just for opening an account. Comment below and let me know what you get. Thanks again for all the support in the comment section, and a special thanks to Jesse Frum, who is our new comment section champion for this week. Make sure you join the discussion for a chance to have your comment featured. I read and reply to all the comments I get. Check out these videos on your screen on how to improve your finances. If you like this video, hit the like button. It helps out a lot. Be sure to subscribe and share the video with your friends. Check out the links in the description for offer information. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.